I will be showing you guys how to cut and sew this senator outfit step by step. But there is a particular question I get asked every time. Most of you guys have asked me a question. How do you get this shape of your senator outfit? How do you get this shaped side, this particular place? How do you shape on that side of your senator outfit? So I'll be walking you guys through the process of cutting this step by step in this video. We are going to cut it slant the shoulder cut the arm hole, all step by step so before we get into the video all you have to do for me is just to smash the like button just smash the like button it's as simple as that so let's get into the video so i'll walk you guys through the process of folding this which will be the very first thing so during our beginners class in case you haven't checked up on our beginners class i'm going to show you some formulas here that you have to pay attention to but during our beginners class, I show you guys how to take measurements and stuff like that. So here, we have something called ease allowance. Let me explain this so that you can understand. There's a difference between ease allowance and sewing allowance. If we take a closer look at my measurements here, I have my chest measurement, which is 36. And here I have an ease measurement, which is 4 inches. I'll be adding an ease allowance of 4 inches to that. Just for example, if I take a fit measurement of this biro, like a skin measurement, and I saw exactly that measurement and I asked the person to wear it back. It will be a lot difficult to wear that exact measurement. That's why ease allowance comes in. You can take a loose measurement, but I prefer to take a skin measurement when I'm sewing for, when I'm making a senator outfit. So I'll be, I shed more light to this in our beginner's class actually, so that you're going to understand how this works in order to get a fitted outfit. But in case you take a loose measurement, you're going to still have your 40 inches circumference or somewhere around 42. But here, if I take a skin measurement, I'll be using 36 plus 4 inches, which will give me 40. So that will be my chest circumference, right? That will be my chest circumference. So now 40 divided by 4, which will give me 10 inches, right? So now our 10 inches will be our main bodice measurement. Now I'm going to add an extra 2 inches to that 10 for the sewing allowance which make it a total of 12. So I fold this fabric at 12 inches. I believe you guys can see that. I fold this bodice, this entire bodice at 12 inches. And you can see both that edge of the fabric, we're going to simply cut that part out. You can see it's a cashmere fabric so that edge is not useful. We're going to simply cut that out. So I want you guys to pay attention to that. And the next thing we are going to simply mark now is going to be our length. We're going to mark our length. That's for our chest. Our chest, we fold that fabric at 40 inches, at um, 12 inches, right? We fold that at 12 inches. And our length is going to be 30, it's going to be 30, 33. And I'll be adding an extra one inches to that, which will make it a total of 34. That's for the length of the outfit. So 33 plus one inches to our length, will make it 34. So I'll be marking my 34 at this down part right here. You can see, I'll mark my 34 right here. Then I'm going to connect it together. You can see that. You can see that. So after connecting it, I'm just going to simply cut that part out and I'll cut it from the top also all the way down and I'll be trimming out the um the edge of the the edge of the fabric which is the design edge of the fabric I'm going to simply trim that part out so if you're enjoying this video so far and you're yet to smash that like button remember to do that it's very very important very 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 important So, so far, this is our front bodice, right? This is the front bodice. And the next thing we are going to cut now is going to be the back. In case you haven't seen the video of my senator cutting before, I will be cutting this step by step so that you can understand. So, what I will be doing on this one also is I will simply fold exactly the 12 inches in which we fold in our previous one. So, I fold this also at 12 inches for my side conference. That's my chest side conference. I use the same thing on the back panel. So I'm going to simply mark this one. You see that? I'll mark it at the down part also. 12 inches. So that I can have a straight line at that edge because that side is not straight. You see that? And I'll simply connect that together. 
I'll connect that together. You see what I have. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is on my back. So on my back here, the back length, the, the length itself is a total of 30, 33 inches, right? So you make a mistake. But don't forget, we are cutting back. We are cutting the back panel. So you have to pay attention to understand what we are trying to do here. So remember, our, our main length is 33 inches. And I'll be adding 4 inches to that, which make it a total of 30, 37 inches, right? So to that 37 inches, I'll be adding an extra 1 inch to that also, which will make it a total of 38 inches. So I'm going to simply mark my 38 inches at this place. I'm going to mark my 38 inches at this place and I'm going to connect it. And I'll simply, I'll mark my 38 inches at that down part. Basically, it's advisable to add an extra one inch to your length um, allowance when you're cutting it, both the front and the back. I usually do that just in case. So I would advise you to always add like extra one inch to your length allowance when you're cutting maybe a shirt or a senator. So that is advisable. And after cutting it, so now we have our back and we have our front. And after that, the next thing we are going to do now is to simply align this side together. Take your time to align those shoulder side. Make sure the front is on top of the back of the back of the back um, panel. So you know that the, sh the front will be shorter than the back, right? Because we cut the the front at 34 inches and we cut the back at 38 inches. So the front will be the one at the top while the back will be the one at the down. So iron it and make sure it's flat so that you can have a flat edge and make sure they are aligned together. So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut our shoulder slant, right? So our shoulder slant is actually varies depending on the kind of shape in which you want. But usually go between 2 inches to 4 inches minimum for for even for children i usually use two inches 2.5 inches so on this one i'll be using 3.5 inches because i want it to be like an average shoulder shoulder slant right so i'll be applying 3.5 inches at this place and from that chalking which i make i'm going to simply slant it to my edge right here you can see the opening part is the one that I choked. The other side that is facing us right here in my hand is the closed area. So that's where I'll be trimming it all the way down to the opening side. Don't make that mistake and go and slant your shoulder the other way around. Doesn't make sense. So you can see that. So I'll just slant it just like that. It's as simple as ABC. So you can see. Uh, you can see the down part right here you can see that one is longer than the other so at this point all you have to do now is to simply drag the longer part uh, the shorter part sorry i'm making mistake jesus <laughs> simply drag the longer part to align with the the, the oh, i still make the same mistake drag the shorter part to align with the longer part right so let me turn the camera back so here you can see now that the shorter part is dragged down and we have our longer part here so after that all you have to do is to simply overlap this back side the back panel on the front you can see that simply overlap it so now overlap this the maximum you can overlap is maybe like a three quarter of an inch but i usually use half of an inch because it's okay for me half of an inch you can see that align it maximum of three quarter of an inch and simply iron it down and make sure that place is iron and as sharp as possible to get that edge then we can continue to the other part so if you're liking this video so far i said and you yet to smash that like button why are you doing that you should have smashed the like button and subscribe if you're yet to subscribe turn on the bell notification to get notified when we upload new video you see what we have so far now after you iron this place the next thing you're going to do is on our shoulder and our shoulder is 17 inches all you have to do is to divide your 17 inches in two places divide the 17 inches in two places just like that which will give us eight three quarter to that eight and a half 8.5 to that 8.5 i'll be having a quarter of an inch for the sewing allowance i don't need too much allowance there so that will be eight three quarter to that eight three quarter i'm simply mark this place that is my shoulder measurement so for my armhole depth, I usually use my shoulder divided by two 
most of the time. But I want you guys to pay attention here. My shoulder divided by 2 will give me 8.5 inches. You can see 8.5. So depending on the fit in which you want, if you want it to be tight, you can simply subtract half of an inch and make it 8 inches. If you want it to be free, you can make it add an half inches to that and make it 9 inches. You can see that. So here I use exactly my shoulder measurement, which is 8.5. If you want it to be free, just simply add 1 inch. If you want it to be um, tight, you can just subtract half of an inch from that 8.5. You see that? So I usually use my shoulder divided by 2 in order to get my armhole depth. So you can see what we have. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to align this line together. So I'm just going to cut, I'm just going to make a straight line on that armhole depth. That's a straight line. You can see that. And at this place, I'm just going to make a straight line here also. That's where my armhole is going to be. So here now, I want you guys to pay attention. I'll be applying my half length measurement that is from my shoulder to my tummy area or between my tummy and my chest. Way, that's where the half length measurement is. That's where our, our upper waist is actually at, right? So I'm going to mark that place. So this is the place in which we're going to be taking our tummy circumference. Before we take that, all you have to do is just to make a straight line at this place. Just like that. You see that? But first and foremost, let's cut our chest measurement first so i want you guys to pay attention here again remember our chest is 36 36 inches right plus our east allowance which is four inches which make it a total of 40 inches before we added an extra two to get this total body circumference so now before we have before we get the two off right so now my 40 divided by two is what i'll be using here and i'm going to mark it you see that that's 40 divided by two which is 10 inches I already marked that. That's my chest measurement plus my east allowance. Now, my tummy measurement plus my east allowance, which is 32, 32 inches plus 4, which will give me a total of 36 inches. And the 36 divided by 4 will give you 9 inches. As simple as that. And all you have to do is just to apply your 9 inches at this place. But here, I will just apply 8 inches instead. So I, 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 I know what I'm doing. I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I usually like the curve to be a little bit deeper than the ease allowance. But for you, just apply your 9 inches at that place. So at this down part, I know you're seeing what I'm doing with my hand. That's why I have to explain that area for you. I like it to be a little bit curved. That's why I usually use... I, I go inside of my ease allowance. So at this down part, I will mark 2 inches here. You see that? That's for my folding at the M. And my opening, that's my slit opening, is going to be at 7 inches. My slit opening is going to be at 7 inches. So I mark that at that place also. So now what I want you guys to do now is here. My 10 inches for my chest circumference, I apply it at that place also. And the slit opening, so at that place, I'm just going to use 1.5 at that place for my slit opening. So now all I have to do now is simple. If you're going to connect that place together with its, um, a ruler, it's going to be too deep, right? So all you have to do is just to simply use your hand to make the kind of curve in which you want. It's as simple as that. It's as simple. I want it to be a little bit deeper. You can see what I'm doing. So I'll just use my hand to make the type of curve in which I want. You see that? So after cutting it deeply, after cutting it that deep, you see what I have here. So I'll be adding an extra one inch to that side. You see that? I'll be adding an extra one inch to that side. So after adding the one inch, I will still make my cuff from that side also. You see that? You see what I did that right there? It's very, very simple. So after you get that, the next thing we are going to do now is our arm hole. It's our arm hole circumference. So at that, I will be using an arm hole, um, an arm hole curve here. In case you don't have that, you can just use your hand. So I will be coming outside of the arm hole by half of an inch. You can see where I just marked now. And at this place, I'm just going to make a curve all the way like this. You can see what I'm doing. All the way to the edge of the arm hole itself. 
But I want you guys to pay attention here. During the cutting aspect of the arm hole, I'll be cutting the first straight line that I make. You're seeing that? I'll be cutting the first straight line that I make. And I'll just cut it all the way. All the way to the arm hole area. You see what I'm doing? Because the front has to be deeper than the back panel. The front arm hole has to be deeper than the back panel. That's why I usually cut it like that. You see what I did? So after I'm going to cut that our deep, that's our half inch deep, half inch depth, sorry. That half inch depth. And I'll simply trim it off just like this. So I'm only cutting the front of this area. Let me zoom in so that you guys are going to see it clearly. You can see that. You can see that. Let me zoom in. So you're going to see that I only, I only cut out the front. So the back is still outside. So just like that. And the next thing we're going to do now is going to be here. You can see this place. All you have to do is just to cut out the side. So you can see our shape of our waist area. So it's as simple as A, B, and C. And I will simply cut that part out. You can see what we have. I'll simply cut that part out. So this is what you're going to be having. You see that? And all you have to do now is to cut your neck, cut your sleeve, and cut your back yoke. It's as simple as that. In case you haven't seen the video of how to cut out all the neck area, I have a video on that on the channel. Just check the channel. And in case you haven't...